Let's talk about tolerance in this week's installment of Wednesday Encouragement. In the world we live in today, there seems to be things that we love to fight about. And based on current events, the separation of disagreement seems to widen by the day. And that widening of disagreement leads to broken relationships. So if you believe something differently than I do, then we can no longer interact with one another. And this is where tolerance needs to enter into the picture. But what does tolerance really mean? The original definition, according to Cambridge Dictionary, is a willingness to accept behavior and beliefs that are different from your own, although you might not agree with them or approve of them. Most recently, the end of that definition has been removed and the definition stops with accepting somebody else's beliefs or behaviors, which leads to forcing the other person to affirm, agree with, your own personal beliefs and behaviors. So I love this reminder from Ephesians chapter four, verse two, which says, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bear with one another in love. That word for bear with one another originally was be tolerant. And then you finish the verse, respond to that person with love, agape love, unconditional love. Be humble and gentle and patient. You're gonna disagree with other people. Be tolerant and love them because they bear the same image of God that you do. We can agree on food and disagree on sports. We can agree on sports and disagree on politics. We can agree on politics and disagree on religion. It is okay to agree to disagree and still love one another. I believe with all my heart, mind, and soul that Jesus is who he said he was, God incarnate. And there are people that I will come in contact with that think that that is absolutely nuts. But as far as it depends on me, tolerance is sitting down with that person who completely disagrees with me and treating them with respect and love. So this week, let me encourage you to be tolerant. You got this. Go in peace.